Hey, what's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors, and I'm very excited today to do an overview of this pack. It is the Direct Action Dust, which was sent courtesy to us from Direct Action, I'd like to thank the folks over there. But this is their dust. This colorway, which is olive green, is $119. It is made of 500D Cordura. It is, uh, also features a DWR coating on that. It's about two pounds, 10 ounces. And there's a lot of other cool features that I wanna get into right now and share with you. So what's the first thing you notice about this pack? Well, I can tell you the first thing I noticed is this really cool way they've incorporated Molly and Pal's webbing. And it's not webbing in your traditional sense in the fact that it's laser cut. I just really love the fact that it's more of a subdued tactical look, if you will. Move to the side on the water bottles, collapsible pockets, again, laser cut. So you can see there's one compression strap right here that I'm using to secure this bottle. It's in there right now. And all the buckles on here are Duraflex, really high quality buckles. And everything on this pack just seems very, very appropriately designed and material choice is really great. Like I said about the 500D, which I'm a much bigger fan of than the 1000D, the more and more I review packs and get a chance to use, that, um, use them. And the nylon itself is thinner, which just gives a little bit of a cleaner action when I'm tightening things or loosening things. But here's this pocket. And in it right now, I have a 40 ounce clean canteen. And you can see whenever I take that bottle out, there's a zipper track right here. And these are all YKK zipper tracks. Very, very, very smooth action on these zipper tracks. I really, really like them as well. The zipper pulls, you almost have this rubber heat shrink or whatever, I forget what it's called. It reminds me of something you'd use for uh, using wires or something like that. But it's a really cool touch, I haven't seen it before. But I really like these pockets because whenever I zipper this up, it's a very nice, clean and streamlined pocket, just all more like a stash pocket. You unzipper it, it expands a little bit, and you can put different size water bottles in that. And if I have nothing in it, I want to zipper it up, and there's just a little bit of hook and loop right here to help keep that tight to the bag. And we have a second compression strap up here, and that's the same on both sides. I have my knife in there now just for some size reference. This would be on my hip most likely, but just to show you. Some size reference to compression strap, same laser cut. Looking at the front of the pack now, there's a pocket right here. See the zipper pull, open that up. And I just have a kerchief in there right now. Just a small thin pocket, not small. It's about here that I'm tracing right now. Nice convenient pocket on the outside for thinner items. You also have a little field right here if you wanna put patch, anything like that. I wanna show you sort of the admin pocket which I really like, and the feature I like about this, besides its organization, is the fact that it opens up completely, sort of clamshells or fillets. Two zippers on there. You can see when I open that up now, it makes it really convenient to get in all, all the space in here. Have a little mesh see-through pocket down here, hook and loop, various size, little slits if you were, a little, uh, just little, little pockets for pens, appropriately sized things. Got a flashlight hanging here on some uh, elastic. It's got a little key hanger right here or anything important. It's got like a little ball joint in there, a little swivel socket, it's kind of cool. Got one pocket here held together by hook and loop. See some doodads just floating around in there. Hook and loop keeps that closed. Another one behind that's a little bit deeper. A little, it's like Gorilla Tape, waterproof matches, just a spoon in there. Hook and loop again for that. The multi tool sits in there pretty well. That's the Gerber Flick, I believe. And the front flap of that pocket, you can see the um, light reflecting off it. It's, it's, it's that plastic material that I've showed on other packs. The Hazard 4 has something like this. And you could uh, put a touchscreen tablet, your phone in there, because you can use touchscreen feature through this, but just a little sleeve. Looking at the top of the bag now, we have this grab handle constructed of paracord, and there are actually two strands of paracord, which are about two and a half meters uh, each. So it's about five meters total of paracord in this handle. If you need to, uh, if you need some paracord, you want to take it apart. So, so that's kind of cool. And you have two D rings, one on each side of the grab handle at the top. <clears throat> Looking at the back of the pack now. Taking a look at the shoulder straps now, which I'm a really big fan of. They're, they're nice and thin, but they have enough cushion and they just lay really well on the body. And, and you'll see that once I get the pack on towards the end. 
but you have two D-rings here, or one on each shoulder strap. Looking at the attachment of the shoulder strap, you have this box and X on the strap itself, and then this floating piece of nylon or separate piece of nylon sewn into the bag. Also featured a quick release on each shoulder strap, and then the sliding sternum strap. It does have a elastic sewn into it, which is for comfort when you're moving. This is across your chest. That gives some give, allows some give. You know, so here, here's the back of the bag. You have a cavity back here that's hook and loop, and this can be used for basically anything, but really doubles as a second spot for a hydration bladder, then you have this little tiny cool buckle for hanging your bladder to keep it nice and upright inside your pack. And then the hose you can feed through to the inside of the pack and then come out right here. There's my end of my thingy. Yeah, cool little pocket. Moving to the padding on the back of the bag. You know, on a lot of these tactical bags, I'm not super impressed with this padding. It seems like, you know, run of the mill, this and that. But with this bag, honestly, I really, really like it. And let me start off by first kind of showing you what this is. And there's probably almost a half an inch of thickness of padding in here. And there, it's sort of, it's angled at 45 degrees underneath this. It's kind of like an open cell. And when I'm wearing this, and I have a really thin shirt on right now, it's hot and humid, but I can actually feel these ridges on my back and it's almost, feels almost like uh, massage-like. It's really comfortable, it's a really cool sensation. And it's one of the things that I've really, really been impressed and thought was just another cool feature I wasn't expecting to find on this bag. So their specific venting system, I believe they call it the combat vent system, um, I really, really like. And there is a hip belt on the bag. You see the buckle right there. Again, it's not, you know, it's something you can't see, but I can feel compared to other tactical bags I've done, the thinness of this webbing or nylon, it's just very, very comfortable and it feels like it's just a better user experience. Because if you've seen the channel, you watch my reviews of other tactical bags, you know I'm pretty picky on how the bag feels and works and hiccups that I feel, but with the with these buckles and the thinness of this nylon, it's just super user friendly. It's really just smooth. That's the word I'm looking for, it's just smooth. But anyways, the hip belt is removable, easily removable. Just via right here. Comes undone really easy. Looking into the main compartment now, going to undo each compression strap on the side. Covered zipper tracks and a little bit uh, larger of a zipper on this main compartment. But again, just a really smooth action. I'm going to pull everything out so I can show you the inside of it. Just a shemog in there right now. Our waterproof talkies. Tarp. On the inside of the bag, there's a second place for a hydration bladder and you have that same buckle sort of carrying system for your bladder that I showed you previously. And that goes into this padded compartment right here. This will fit a 15 inch laptop. Like I said, hydration bladder, really anything. And there's, there's not an internal frame. This is not an internal frame pack, but honestly doesn't need it for the size of pack. Really not missing it. A little logo patch right there. And you do have a pocket then on the opposing side of the interior of the bag. Small first aid kit in there right now. A couple bits of paracord. And this is a nice size pocket. It dang near goes to the bottom of the pack. My hand goes up there, up to over my wrist, so definitely a nice size pocket. And maybe it's translating the video, maybe it's not, but it's kind of difficult for us to get the inside of the pack because this main compartment does not open the whole way because of the side pockets. So just something to keep in mind. So I have the pack on right now so you can get a little of a general idea of how it sits on the body. Sort of the size comparison, about 5'9", five, 5 feet 9 inches, about 165 pounds. It's got a really nice profile on the body and it sits really flush. There's a lot of contact the entire length of the pack, which I really, really, really like. 
like I said, these shoulder straps are very comfortable. And I don't know, folks, they, we have a new player on the market. I really believe that. Direct Action has a couple more bags, different sizes. But what I've seen from this bag and what I like about it that I mentioned about the water bottle pockets on both sides. You know I'm a big fan as well as my brother. He's the same way. He wants pockets on the outside to carry a water bottle. This has it. We both love that. The vent system, like I said, the way it feels in my back, there's ridges in the open cell and the fact that I'm wearing a very light shirt because it's summer, I can feel that and I don't want to use the word stimulating, <laughs> but it's a really cool feeling on my back. I really, really like that. The colors, I mentioned that this was olive green. They have, I think, five or six solid colors and probably eight different camo options. Now that'll increase the price those different camos usually always increase the price. I think $20 might be the most, um, might be the most that this will pack will jump up depending on the camo, but Direct Action, great job of this pack. I'd like to thank the folks at Direct Action for sending this pack over to us for review, testing, evaluating, and to share with you. So if you have any questions about this pack, anything I didn't cover, if you have any experience with Direct Action, let me know. Their website will be in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. This is Crick signing out with Blackout Outdoors. Later, turtles.